Hi, welcome back folks. Welcome to our channel. We are the Cigar Ambassadors. My name is Louis Starr and my partner with me is Bob Bilesma. You know, Louis, over the last three months, you and I have smoked a lot of cigars. Yeah. And by my count, we have smoked over 200 different cigars during that three month period. Ouch. Yes, well, <laughs> but out of those 200 cigars, we've definitely found some favorites. Yeah. We've, we've smoked a lot of good cigars, but we've also smoked some, what I think are outstanding cigars. Mm. And we want to share six of those uh, today that, uh, uh, some of which we've shared. Right. Uh, but some of those 200 are so limited that you really would have a hard time finding them. We want to, we want to share six cigars that you can actually put your hands on. Yeah. Now, you may have to order them over the internet, but uh, but they are available. And uh, Lewis, why don't you get us started? What do you have for us? Well, first in my batter's box is the Davidoff Late Hour. It's comprised of a filler that's Dominican and Nicaraguan, a binder that's from Mexico, and the wrapper is Ecuadorian. It's in a Churchill size, I love this cigar late at night, as it you know indicates it's a late hour cigar. And after you've had a full meal, that's when I'm ready to sit back, relax, and have the late hour and actually enjoy that smoke. It's about a about a good hour, 45 minute smoke. All right, this is the Davidoff late hour Churchill as it's listed, but it's actually a Toro in size. The tasty notes on this one quite complex. You'll get a little mesquite, some vanilla, coffee, honey, earth, and a lot of spice, which means it has a distinct complexity to it that you'll quite enjoy and will dance on your palate throughout the entire smoking of this cigar. Lewis, how would you rate the, the body and strength of uh, the late hour? Well, for me, since I'm typically a full body strong cigar smoker i would put this in a category of a full body but not a full strength and you know, we've talked about that and the difference is it's giving you plenty of flavor but not knocking you on your back if you're not someone who smoked a lot of maduro which i do and you're staying more into the mild to medium category you might have to work your way up to this cigar but if you've had some mild to full or medium to full cigars I should say then this one would work for you but having said that I'm just recommending that you try it but Bob that's my first one what do you have for us well this is a cigar I tried not long ago and the first thing I did after smoking it was buy some more of them <laughs> uh, this is the La Flor Dominicana Colorado Oscuro Ah, very nice. And it's a limited release. It's only released two times a year, but it is available okay. now. So uh, if you want to try it, you might want to get it now or you might have to wait. <laughs> uh, this this cigar is, I would rate it as a uh, full body mm -hmm. and medium to full in strength. Okay. Uh, it's a, del I would call it a delightful cigar. It has an Ecuadorian uh, Sumatra wrapper a Dominican binder and Dominican and uh, Nicaraguan fillers. Mm. I, I found this cigar to be rich and complex. Notes of espresso, dark chocolate, earth, and a medium to strong pepper, but it had a nice subtle sweetness to it as well. I thought this was just an absolutely wonderful and delightful cigar. So Lewis, what do you have next for us? Well, next in my powerhouse batting box is the Padron 90th. Uh, it's an anniversary cigar, actually, Bob. This was constructed for the 90th anniversary of uh, Jose Padron. And this is straight Nicaraguan, and it's a Maduro. They also have it in a natural. But again, I smoke Maduro, so that's what I have. And it's a great cigar any time of day. I've started the day and I've ended the day with this cigar and I highly recommend that if you can find it because it is ready, readily available. Wow, that's a tongue twister. But um, don't sleep on this one, folks. I, 
Again, it's a full body cigar that for the full body smoker, you'll quite enjoy it. But caveat, the natural has a lot of power too. So what you have in front of you is the Padron 90th. It's a birthday cigar. Again, constructed for Jose Padron. This is a Padron 1926, a Siri 1926 to be exact. And the flavor notes are very mellow, but they're very pleasing as well. And there's a lot of intenseness in this cigar. You'll get black pepper and notes of cedar as you're smoking this through and through. And that's what I get on my palate. But folks, this is a great cigar again for any time of day. And I think you want to put this one into your selection for the fall. So Bob, that was number two in my wheelhouse. What do you got for us? I have another limited edition cigar. Oh man, you are <laughs> just too much, man. <laughs> but this one is readily available. Okay. This is uh, the Avo West Regional cigar. Gotcha. And uh, it uh, it retails for about ten dollars, so it's uh, it's at a decent price point. It's got an Ecuadorian sun grown wrapper. Hmm. Uh, beyond that, they disclose the country, but they don't disclose the particulars. <laughs> so it has a Dominican binder, Dominican and Nicaraguan fillers. Yeah. Uh, there seems to be so far a theme in my cigars today with, uh, with, with, that, that. with that combination of Dominican <laughs> and Nicaraguan. This is an incredibly complex and yet very smooth cigar. I'd say it's medium in body and a solid medium in strength. Definitely not more than that. Uh, it, in terms of the notes I got, it's got a lot of wood, hay, some dark chocolate, and some dried fruit, which I think is what brings it some of the uh, slight sweetness that it has in a medium pepper. And that pepper will ebb and flow in strength over time. But as I said, this is just a, a nice, complex, smooth cigar. So that's the Avo Western West Regional. Okay. Uh, again, a cigar I love. One, as soon as I, literally, as soon as I finished smoking it, I was smoking this one, I believe, in Phoenix. While I was still there in the lounge, I ordered a box. <laughs> so that's how much I liked it. Okay. What's your third cigar, Louis? Well, my third one up, and it's not the least, it's just the third option, is the Fuente Fuente Opus X de Chateau Reserva. This is straight Dominican Republic tobacco through and through. There's no other mix with this. And it's a pretty decent smoke and one that I truly enjoy, probably a little too much because I think I've spent a lot of money with uh, Fuente in buying this cigar, but it's just a wonderful smoke. I know um, I find a lot of joy in having this one, particularly as I'm winding down. So the size on this particular cigar, the Fuente Fuente Opus X, is a 7x48. So you're going to put some time in on this one and take your time with it. The tasting notes is spice, there's some strong coffee, leather, and I'm still trying to get the leather part, but I think I get what they mean. And, but there's a consistency throughout, and it just layers your palate so lovingly. You enjoy this cigar immensely, I know I do. And like I said, based on its size, don't rush it, folks. You put in an hour, 45 minutes on this, maybe two hours, and you'll enjoy this wonderful addition from the Opus X selection, the, the Chateau Reserva Churchill. So Bob, that was my three for the fall, and uh, I think it's a decent three to choose from, from it for anybody that has my palate. But uh, what do you got next? What's your third selection for the fall? Well, I had a hard time coming up with the third one, not because there weren't a lot of choices, but because I wanted to find something that actually fit into the more uh, mild to medium category. Okay. And this one definitely fits this. I love this cigar. Uh, it is, I thought, incredibly smooth. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, my third and final cigar is the Nova Sultan. Uh -huh. And the Nova Sultan has a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, mm -hmm. uh, Dominican binder, and Dominican fillers. Okay. This is a great cigar. It's earthy with notes of grass, hay, and wood. It's got a slight sweetness uh, in a mild to medium pepper. 
that has some ebb and flow to it. But this is just a really nice, smooth and tasty and well-balanced cigar. So there you have it, the Nova Sultan. This is a cigar that we think is well worth reviewing. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a wonderful cigar. There's really not a lot of information available out on it. And so in the next next few weeks, we're gonna go ahead and do a review of this particular cigar. Well, that sounds good. I'm looking forward to it, Bob. Well, there you have it, folks. You know, again, we wanna appreciate your support and checking out our channel. We are the Cigar Ambassadors. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that button so you can get all the information about the next up and coming episodes. And we're just thankful that we have you checking out what we do and having fun doing it. Well, that's it for today. My, my name is Louis Starr, my partner Bob Bilesma, and we are the Cigar Ambassadors. See you next time.